Hey there, everybody. I uh, recently was having a conversation with somebody about chillers. And uh, during that conversation, they had mentioned someone trying a uh, very inexpensive and so far seems to be effective way of chilling your laser. So right now we're running at about 12, 12 and a half C. Got this at uh, 25%, which in raster mode equates to about three to four, sometimes five milliamps. And as you can see here, this will be my third run of cutting out these keychains, which uh, involves lots of rastering and then a cut operation. There's the keychain. So here is my chiller solution. It is just simply a uh, ice maker. You can pick one of these up on Amazon for less than a hundred bucks. What I've done is I've taken my return line and my pump and placed them inside the reservoir and as you can see there's a little bit of ice that just got dumped. It's now started a new cycle um, and it takes about, I'm in small size, small size ice. It seems to actually cool it more consistently and I think it's probably because there's less thermal energy transfer when the, when the uh, ice cubes drop in. One thing I have had happen here is this hose will come loose. Eventually I'll drill a couple of holes in the top here. Now, there's been a couple of, I, I went on YouTube and looked, and there's people that route the water up into the ice making tray. Um, just something about that tells me that that is probably not good for the ice maker. It's, uh, maybe it's good, I don't know. This seems to be working just fine. And this is how the unit would operate normally, um, making ice. So, like I said, large ones take about eight minutes, small ones take about five or six minutes. Um, all I've got in here is distilled water with uh, a couple of drops of Dawn dishwashing soap. Now, when I started the laser up, now see we've dropped down to around 11C. When I started the laser up, it was uh, probably at about 22C ambient. Um, so you can see that it definitely has chilled it and it has maintained temperature while uh, performing some pretty, uh, pretty busy operations, so. Um, one thing to note about this, if you are in a humid climate, one thing that you will have to worry about is condensation developing. It's very important that, uh, that you not let any condensation develop on the ends of the tubes, which it will if your dew point is below the snow, or up, if you go below the dew point in whatever area you're in. So you may actually need to uh, add a secondary water source in like a five gallon bucket and uh, cycle the water from one into the other. Uh, this would potentially raise the temperature uh, but also continue to allow it to circulate cold water. So there you go guys. Uh, super cheap and easy way to your laser cutter.